All right, here we are, everybody. We are doing some final processing of our beeswax, and we figured we would show you what it's like. Here we have our double boiler system. You can see our beeswax, not totally clean. You can see our water underneath there that we're gonna need to replace for, or add more water to for next round. This has about a pound of beeswax in it. Hi. And we also, here's our setup, here's our double boiler setup when doing larger projects or a candle or stuff like that. But now we're going to bring it over here. We want to make sure it doesn't drip. Now here's our final setup. We have our chemistry stand here, just a paper towel, little clips that hold it on. All we're going to do is pour it through that paper towel. That paper towel is all you need to get that final processing of any last material out of it. We like to use this mold because the final beeswax comes in little hexagon shapes. It's easy for measuring out different incre increments. It's not one giant block. So I'll slowly keep adding beeswax here as it drips through. And then I'll just tip this to level out the beeswax in the mold in the bottom. And then you can see here are the previous rounds that we've done. A little beeswax gets left in here, but that's okay. What I do is, well, I used to take my heating gun and try to heat it and let it melt, but that took it too long. So now I just save it in a bucket, and then next summer I'll pull it out my uh, solar wax melter, and I'll put all these in my solar wax melter and get that extra beeswax out that way. So this is it. This is how we do our final processing for our beeswax. And then we can make all different things out of the product. You can see this is what we have that we've been working on today. We'll be making some lip balms next.